Good afternoon. The European Union's policy, if it is to be effective, must be both visionary and pragmatic. More than half a century ago, an ambitious vision of the European defense community was created, but what was missing was the unity and courage to put it into practice. Since then, this idea was revisited many times, but to no effect. The dream was at odds with reality. Today, this dream becomes reality. We are launching permanent structured cooperation, so-called PESCO, which is a practical expression of our will to build European defense. In the debate before today's decision, the main dilemma was how to make PESCO both inclusive and ambitious. PESCO, in which 25 member states take part, is for sure inclusive. And if all the commitments are fulfilled, PESCO will also be ambitious. For many years, the strongest argument against PESCO had been the fear that it would lead to the weakening of NATO. But it is quite the opposite. Strong European defense naturally strengthens NATO. This is why PESCO is not only good news for us, but it is also good news for our allies and bad news for our enemies. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The launch of uh, permanent structured cooperation has been a united effort. I would like to thank European Union member nations and EU institutions uh, on behalf of Estonian Presidency for the hard work and strong will which brought us to this uh, historic decision. From the military point of view, PESCO has three vital uh, aspects. First, an ambitious and inclusive cooperation platform demonstrates the willingness of 25 member nations to make the European Union militarily stronger. For European citizens, it means more security. Second, it's all about collective projects which uh, are relevant and practical. The first 17 projects uh, are focused on, uh, on state of art, defense solutions that will improve the EU's operational capability. And third, of course, PESCO strengthens the European pillar in NATO. It is clear that the European Union potential in the field of defense is significant and we need to follow these decisions with the concrete actions and we will uh, follow these decisions with the concrete actions. Thank you very much.